first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so here in this mistake series video we will be seeing some of the mistakes that usually every student used to do at the beginning of learning aptitude for the competitive exams or even i have seen some students are making these kinds of mistakes in the competitive exam itself so these kinds of mistakes usually happen only because of the time pressure in their exams because student have to solve the question within 20 seconds or within 30 seconds so because of the time pressure i have seen many students or usually they used to do these kinds of silly mistakes on their exams that is especially on the mathematics so in order to avoid those kinds of mistake so this mistake series video will definitely help you to avoid such a mistakes in the upcoming competitive exams so don't forget to watch all the complete mistake series video so that it will be very very helpful if you are preparing for the competitive exams so and one more important thing so many students those who are asking all my videos all my feel free to learn videos in offline either it can be a pen drive mode or it can be sd card mode where you can get the pen drive and you can able to watch all my videos what i posted on my channel feel free to learn in offline so get the pen drive or get the sd card start learning for the upcoming competitive exams if you want any details how to purchase it whatsapp us so our team will contact you soon so thank you so much and now let me move on to the mistake series videos so friends here is the video number 12 on mistake series video that is based on a square root number so usually a beginner's mistake so this is like we need to expand the square root of 20 and we need to find which of the option is correct 4 root 5 or 3 root 5 2 root 5 5 root 5 none of these so here some students mostly even beginners will not make mistake in this region but some students right i have seen students making mistake on one particular area i will tell you this right so just see a square root of 20 so we can expand the square root of 20 as 5 into 4 yes or no right so 5 into 4 will be 20 so next step root 5 root 4 because 5 into 4 can be written as root of 5 root of 4 so root of 4 will be 2 so answer will be 2 root 5 so we can say that option number c will be the answer for the question so those who are expanding this number 20 as 5 into 4 will not make any mistake but I have seen some students will write the same number 20 as square root of 10 into 2. So no, they can write like this also, right? 5 into 4 is also 20. 10 into 2 is also 20, right? So I have seen students, only most of the students will prefer this method. But some beginners will write this 20 as 10 into 2. So now they look at the option. So 10 into 2, I can't able to expand anything. So they say the answer will be none of these. That is wrong actually, right? So whenever if you are going to expand a number which is inside a square root, so try to convert into a single digit number. Just see here, 10 into 2 is 20. You can split this 10 as 5 into 2. Yes or no? So 5 into 2 into 2. Understood? So this 10, I have written as 5 into 2. So now this can be written as 5 into 4. 2 into 2 will be 4. So now square root of 4 will be 2 root of 5. Understood? So this is the most important area. So don't make a mistake again, right? So beginner's mistake it is. So always remember that when you are going to expand a number, right? which is inside a square root so be careful there are many different ways that you can expect but you will definitely get the exact answer in all the methods or else i can give you another one example question right so another one example question we can take square root of 75 so when just see here square root of 75 some students write the square root of 75 as 25 into 5 sorry 25 into 3 so 25 into 3 will be 75 some students write this square root of 75 as 15 into 5 both are same right 25 into 3 is also 75 15 into 5 is also 75 now 25 into 3 right square root of 25 will be 5 so 5 root 3 and here 15 into 5 now you have to expand this 15 so 15 can be written as 5 into 3 into 5 so 5 into 5 will be 25 into 3 so again square root of 25 will be 5 root 3 just see here in both the methods we are getting the answer as 5 root 5 sorry 5 root 3 so 
uh, even if you are following different different methods to expand the square root numbers what is inside the square root you will get the final answer same so whenever if you are not getting an answer try to expand the number again and again right if it is 15 into 5 again expand the 15 5 into 3 so now you got 5 into 5 which is 25 into 3 so square root of 25 will be 5 so 5 root 3 will be your answer understood so this is the way to solve some of the questions so don't make this mistake i have seen many students they will stop here 15 into 5 and they don't know how to proceed the next step beginners so don't do that mistake so whenever whether you are using this method or this method the final answer that you are going to get will be same what so if you are using this method will be seems to be easy if you are using this method not at all an issue so try to expand the numbers till you get a single digit and then try to uh, multiply the remaining numbers definitely you will get the answer right so this will be the answer for the question so don't make the beginners so again if you are making mistake in this area so kindly don't make this mistake again so thank you so much for watching this video bye